Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Topics in Linguistics with Hadi Hamdan. Our topic for today will be about language origins. So we will dwell together and dive into the fascinating world of linguistics to see if we can figure out what is the origin of all languages and whether we do have actually an origin for all languages or not. Last time, we talked about the divine source theory. Let's see if Grandpa has other stories about language origin. What do you think, Salma? You are absolutely right, Ferris. I can't wait to see what more Grandpa has to say about language origin. Grandpa, Grandpa, what are you reading about? Last time, you told us about how Adam was taught the names of things and how Sarasvati is believed among Hindus to be the goddess who granted humans language. But what about scholars, and how do they think language actually started? That's an interesting question, Salma. Go get Faris, and let's talk about what scholars have thought. People have long speculated about how language might have first emerged, and while we have some interesting ideas, None can fully explain the richness of human speech, especially abstract words like love or justice. One of the most famous theories about language origin is the Baal Wow theory. Basically, it suggests that early humans mimicked the sounds of nature. For example, they heard dogs bark and said woof, or heard birds chirp and came up with words that sounded similar. So if I say meow, am I then speaking the language of the past? No, no. dear Ferris, this is not what I meant. This theory assumes that early human beings developed language through imitating the sounds they heard around them. So, according to this theory, when early humans first heard the sound a cat makes, they named it meow because this is what they hear, and for us in Arabic, we attribute to the sound produced by a cat the same name. Now, while the theory makes sense in some cases, it doesn't explain words that have nothing to do with sounds, like happiness or yesterday. Now, another closely related theory that attributes language to sounds is the poo-poo theory which suggests that language started from instinctive cries, like when we gasp in surprise, cry out in pain, or sigh in relief. According to this theory, our ancestors turned these natural sounds into words. While, once again, this theory may explain some words like ouch, it does not explain abstract concepts like love, freedom, and democracy. In addition to others, language is way more advanced and complex than this. Grandpa, what about language and music? I heard that there is a theory about that. Is there such a theory? Yes, that's called the musical source theory. It suggests that language evolved from music. The idea is that early humans communicated through melody and rhythm before forming actual words. Think about how we sometimes hum when we're happy, or how lullabies calm babies. Music has always been a powerful way to express emotion. So people sang before they spoke? Not exactly, but the theory suggests that musical tones and rhythmic sounds gradually evolved into structured speech. Of course, like the others, it doesn't explain everything, especially how we created specific words for objects and ideas. That's why we regard it as a theory, not a fact. Anyway, you little curious ones have made me talk for a long time. I can't go on anymore. I just want to relax. No more talking for today. <laughs>